Hey guys, Mark here again. Hey, so today I actually wired in the relay that came with my TrackMate system. Um, I don't know why I didn't do this from the start. It was pretty easy. I actually followed these steps down here that said track already functioning, which mine was. So I basically just disconnected the positive terminal from the power supply connected it to 87A on the relay, ran a wire from 30 over to the positive supply terminal, and then connected two wires from the control box of the system to 85 and 86 on the relay. So basically, these two connections here. And I'll show you guys on the track. Um, how I did all this. So it was, it was pretty easy. Hopefully it's not too dark under there and, and you can see um, what I did. So I went ahead and I put the relay right there and it's basically breaking the connection. So um, you got the two wires coming from the control box. I just made them black and white. Go into the two connections on the relay. Sorry, the table's blocking it. And then one wire from the relay goes to where basically this, this positive line from the supply used to go right to here. Now it goes to one of the connections on the relay and then over from the relay back to there. So the relay is breaking the positive line to the track. And what that does is it lets you, sorry for the mess here, it lets you have now the system can control the power to the track. So you see how I have a practice session going and when I hit the control, I don't have any power right now because it's on a yellow flag. But if I hit the space bar, I just heard the relay click, and now I have power. If I hit the space bar again, yellow flag. yellow flag, now I have no power. And it's the same thing. Let me see. I'm going to abort this. And I can start a, a heat real quick. Hold on. I'm going to pause the camera for a second. Okay, so now I have a simulated heat going, race going, and right now, again, I have no power. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hold the trigger on my controller and I'm going to start the race. Get ready. I just, oh. Go. And I just crashed. Well, it started it as soon as the... I thought it wouldn't, wouldn't start until it said go, but it actually did, um, it did click in ahead of that. So I don't know if that's a setting or not, but it's pretty cool being able to stop the uh, power every time there's a yellow flag. So again, I could actually use the space bar as like a call button. Yeah, right. Yeah, so that still worked. So I have to figure that out. It's kind of doing what I want it to do, but there's probably some settings in the software that I need to uh, change so that it, it doesn't go until it's green. So I'll have to work on that. But anyway, that's my quick little addition, just adding in that relay. And I'm going to play around with the software a little bit more and see if I could tweak it to the way I actually want it. So that's it. I hope everyone's doing well and we'll talk with you guys soon. Thanks for stopping One by. The heat. Bye. Actually I'm curious. If I run if I run a car. Let's see if I can place that. If I run a car 
when the race when the race ends. I'm curious if the uh, power is going to stop. Yeah, I mind hanging out for 35 more seconds. Ten seconds left. Red flag. Yep. So that's good. That over. Stops the cars so you can mark where your car ended on the heat. I, I guess I have to put some mark mark the track with numbers for sections so we can uh, write down what sections we stopped in when we're doing some actual races. Race starts in twenty seconds. Yeah. Oh. It's interesting. Let's see. So right now it's red. I assume in 10 seconds it should uh, click off and race starts in five seconds. Give me power again. Get ready. So it gave me power already. I, I would would have expected it to not give me power till right there. So I want to see if I can check that out in the software and change that setting but we're getting there i was out racing at some pretty nice tracks out in bowling green florida sky dan he has three really nice tracks out in this uh kind of club room that he has out there big big room um three four by 16 foot tracks and you know he has the track made and he had it all set up like this so i was like i need to do that on my track i really should so we're getting there all right, guys, now I'm going. All right, talk to you guys soon. Bye.